The moon was full, and the fog was thick when the Campbell family set out on their road trip. It was Halloween night, and the thrill-seeking Campbells, parents Mark and Alice, teenagers Lucy and Jack, and their loyal dog Ghost, decided to explore the legend of the Road of Shadows. The legend said that once every Halloween, the hidden road emerged from the mist, and the travelers who dared could meet the spirits that roamed there. As they approached the ancient ironwood forest, their GPS flickered and displayed a road never seen before. With a mix of excitement and trepidation, they turned onto the now visible Road of Shadows. As they entered, the car was enveloped in shadows and a chilling wind howled. Ghost whimpered and nestled closer to Lucy. The forest was alive with ghostly whispers and flickering spectres. Alice, who was skeptical of the legend, gasped as she saw figures dancing in the mist. Their first encounter was at Weeping Creek. A lady in white stood by the creek, crying into her hands. Alice, sympathetic, approached her. The lady looked up. Her eyes were empty pools of sorrow. She whispered, Find what was taken from me, return it, and my soul shall rest. The Campbells promised to help. As they continued, their headlights caught a glimpse of an old journal on the road. Lucy picked it up. The journal belonged to a woodsman who had found a locket by Weeping Creek many years ago. They realized that the locket must be what the ghostly lady was looking for. Deeper into the road of shadows, they stopped at a derelict cabin where the woodsman used to live. They felt a heavy presence, and Ghost growled at the shadows. Inside, they found the locket hanging above the fireplace. They raced back to Weeping Creek, where they returned the locket to the lady in white. A smile crossed her face as she faded into a soft light. Suddenly, the car was pulled forward by an unknown force. They arrived at an ancient cemetery, where restless spirits roamed. A figure in a dark cloak appeared before them, introducing himself as the Guardian of Shadows. He tasked them with solving a riddle to safely pass through. In shadows we dwell, with secrets untold, where the restless lay, and the night is old. Find the Keeper's Stone, touched by moonlight, to calm the restless and make the wrong right. Jack, who was a riddle enthusiast, figured out that they needed to find the tombstone of the cemetery's keeper, which should be touched by the moonlight. After searching, they found a tombstone bathed in moonlight, with an emblem of a guardian. They placed their hands on it and spoke the words, Calm the restless, make the wrong right. The spirits around them bowed and thanked them before peacefully fading away. The guardian of shadows appeared again, his cloak falling away, revealing an ethereal suit of armor. Thank you, travelers, for bringing peace to the Road of Shadows. May your path always be lit, he spoke in a deep voice. The Campbells felt their car being lifted, and they were gently placed back onto the familiar highway, just outside Ironwood Forest. They drove home in stunned silence, processing the night's eerie events. Though they had initially sought thrill, they never expected to be so deeply involved in the spirit's world. The Road of Shadows had brought the Campbells face to face with the supernatural and they had helped bring peace to lost souls. Their road trip became a legend within the town, and though many were skeptical, the Campbells knew the truth of the Road of Shadows. And every Halloween night, as the moon shone bright, the Campbell family would leave offerings at the edge of Ironwood Forest, paying homage to the spirits that had touched their lives on that spine-chilling journey.